Shalom, beloved. Our verse for today is the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 5, verse 1. It reads, Every high priest chosen from among humans is put in charge of things pertaining to God on their behalf to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. Today, we appreciate the gift, the gift of the priesthood. Every high priest is chosen from among humans to do the work of mediatorship between divinity and humanity. Mediatorship. Why this mediatorship? When God created humans, he created them and gave, him, gave them his glory. And he will come down and interact freely with them. He intermingled freely with them. But with the sin of Adam and Eve, with the fall of humanity, there came a separation, a break, a barrier between divinity and humanity. And this separatedness is symbolized by the closure of the Garden of Eden with an angel situated there to make sure that man does not dare to come back into the garden. And so there came a distance between God and humans whom he created in his image. But God will not allow humans to wallow away in darkness. It was his own initiative to create the office, the function of the priesthood, where a person chosen by him will now become a mediator between him and humans who have lost the glory that made them come freely to him. And so, the priesthood is totally divine initiative. And it is God also who made the priesthood an institution. We remember the instructions of God to Moses on ordaining Aaron and his sons into the priesthood. And this priesthood continued until it came to fulfillment in Christ. And in Christ, these words which we hear today are perfectly brought to fulfillment. Every high priest is chosen from among humans. Christ had to assume the total, the totality of human conditions. And chosen by God, he became the perfect mediator between divinity and humanity because he is through God and through man. And not only that, he hands over this office, this function of priesthood to mere humans like myself, who exercise not my own ministry, but the ministry of Jesus Christ. The priest acts in persona Christi capitis, in the person of Christ the head. And in doing this, the priest does not forget the two facets of the priesthood. He is human. He is chosen from among men. He is frail. He is susceptible to temptations. But still, he is chosen and separated to do a work of mediatorship. Therefore, he does not lose his identity mingling with fellow humans. But still, he does not separate himself so much from his fellows that it becomes difficult for them to access his priestly services. It is both a gift and a challenge. And so, dearly beloved, I call on you today to pray for your priests. So as to be able to maintain that balance, of being true to fellow humans and being true to divine call. In the priesthood, the work of salvation wrought by Christ continues to prosper. And may the graces of the priesthood abound in our lives. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a great day ahead.